Okay, so welcome to this um, this tutorial. In the last one, what we did is we linked up the post button um, with a, a JavaScript event handler. Okay, and we basically check to see whether there's any text with inside of this one text area. So when we click the button, if there's nothing inside of it, then it goes red. If we then put some text inside of it and click post, the text goes for the time being, but it logs it for us using the console. Okay, and then the border of the one text, the comment text container, I think it was called, um, or the comment insert container, goes back to being um, grey once again. All right. So the next thing we want to do really is we need to know the name of the person, or we need to know the user ID of that one person as well before we send back, um, because we need to know who's saying this. Okay. Now, because you just don't want to have one person to do it. So, within inside of our index.php, we need to have a, a place where we know the username um, or the user ID all the time. So, what we're going to do right at the bottom of the page, we're going to say input type is equal to hidden. Okay, and then we're going to say the ID is equal to user ID. All right, and then the value in this case, we're just going to place as one first of all. Okay, and we're going to then put some other information in here, and we're then going to say hidden, and then uh, ID is equal to user name, value is equal to David Dawn, for example. Okay, this is just um, for us to use for now, uh, am I right? Because we need to tell JavaScript some way of sending this data back of who the current user is. Okay, so. Um, with inside of here, we now need to store potentially, let's say var and user ID is equal to, and we then did this already with the ID, so, that, so the selector is of I type ID and user ID, and I'm a nightmare, I've forgotten that already. Let's use the same, um, same prefix or the same uh, naming convention all the time, just say um, with camel case. Um, well, without the first letter obviously being uh, uppercase, um, with the I there. User ID is equal to uh, user ID dot val, right? And then uh, user name is equal to then uh, dash user name or hash, sorry, user name here. Now we've stored the information, so we're kind of we're kind of happy with that. Okay, so the next thing that we've got to do is we want to check um, also if text.length is more than zero and user ID um, is not equal to null, I think would work fine, and username, username's not totally important, so I'm going to leave username out because we've got, we're going to have the username on the server anyway when we send the data back. Um, so I think that should work fine. Let's refresh this, come to the console, put some text in here, and it's all fine. Okay, so we can see that we click this and it goes red, put some text in, and it goes. <coughs> so let's just um, attach on t for some confirmation that we're actually getting the user um, name properly, and then the uh, user ID uh, can be here. Right, so let's put username is here okay let's just do it one more time refresh it and let's press post okay it's empty which is good okay and we've got David Thorne is the username and then I user ID is equal to one so we're happy with that now time to actually start doing um, the Ajax as such so um, we've got the jQuery library which means we can use the post um, element of it now we want to have some form of um, s logic with inside of our file system so let's then put a folder of Ajax okay and this is then going to have a, then a file of then comments insert so we're going to kind of use this, the same naming convention um, on the client side and also on the server side um, for the files okay so with inside of here we then need to, uh, we c I think we can, yeah, we'll leave that down there. Okay, so now that we've checked um, this information, 
we now want to do a post request okay so we're going to say dollar sign dot post and this is now going to do the ajax xml http request using the the method of post okay so within inside of here we need to say where the file is okay and the file is ajax okay and then comment inserts dot php okay that's the information which we need so far um, we're going to push this to <coughs> a couple of new lines now the next argument which the post ajax file um, function takes is then um, an object okay now the one after that which it takes is then a function okay anonymous function and taking an ar the first argument is of uh, well you can name this one argument anything you want but this actually has the response text from the server now if you've not used ajax before I have a whole bunch of tutorials explaining it all right using the ajax library and also how to make an xml http request see the link right now okay that's going to show you um, how to do this and i also need a quick drink okay that's better right um so see the tutorial if you've never seen ajax before go and watch these video tutorials and they're going to then tell you a lot more okay so this is the function um, which is going to return the response text so from the server we're just going to say um, re response text is equal to data all right now the information which we're sending um, to the server is that I want to do um, a bit of a naming convention and we're going to say task and once again we're going to say comment insert all right so all the time um, with this comment box we're going to use a naming convention to keep it exactly the same so we know what we're doing all the time it can get very confusing at times now we want to say then the user ID is is equal to user ID now in this scenario having a user ID here and having user ID there is not potentially a, a good idea because they're going to get confused with each other okay so we're going to say uh, we're going to say underscore user ID and underscore username and we're going to change this to underscore user ID and then um, where was it down here we're going to say underscore username there so we don't get any errors and underscore user ID so we know that hey this is on our side and we can put in here now user ID so we don't get confused and now we actually need the comment itself and we're just going to use comment um, with nothing more than that and we're going to change this text because this text um, it just doesn't seem right and we're going to say comments so as we change that we need to change this text dot length and nothing else down here and then this down here and then that should be that should be it that should be fine okay so now we've got this comment all right and now we know with the underscore this is on our server side um, the comment we shouldn't need anything more than that because we've got the user ID and uh, we've got the comment we don't care about the date and time because this is going to be all within like a fraction of a second on the server so the server can can worry about doing the date and time okay so let's send this data back um, now now that our Ajax command um, is set we can test it out shall we so let's um, come to here we need to, sorry before we do that let's come to our comment underscore insert dot php to do nothing more than say print r and we're just going to say request all right and this will just echo out then the the information which we just received all right so this is where the server is going to hit um, call and we're just going to uh, print r everything that we received so let's do a, a refresh come to our console and this is the text which will be sent to the server as a comment okay let's press post it went back fine and as you can see here response text equals array and this is the information that got sent back so the information that we sent over has come back in a textual form and everything went fine so you can see here comment task user ID and then the actual um, the URL um, which got sent back okay so now we know that the data has gone back to the server um, that's perfectly fine so 
uh, what we need to do now is it's gone back and we know the data's there all right um, we just need to do some um, checking to make sure all is fine now in order for us to know that the server has actually answered properly um, we're going to place um, the response as such rather than using it down here we're going to put it in the success um, function of age of um, whoops I'll just copy that then of here okay so we're going to remove this one comma and we're going to put this in the the success element of it right so if we get then um, a status of um, 200 okay in the state of text of okay then it's then going to do this one function okay let's refresh this press this okay did I put three C's then yes I did stupid okay so obviously success is only spelt with two C's okay and as you can see it works perfectly fine now this will only fire if we get uh, a status of 200 and okay now what we can do uh, from from here is then copy this and then put it in again all right to make much sense right now but just trust me on this change that to then nothing all right and we're going to say in here on error I believe it is I might have to check this and we put error there's going to be no data to be honest with you so we're just going to scrap that and I believe the only way well let's just check this all works first okay let's put some text in there everything went fine now the way that we can get the error don't be confused by this alright let's just um, bump that to here and let's push that over let's push that over okay so still with the post request okay this is staying this is just a continuation of the post request okay with jQuery so if there's an error it's gonna do this if it's successful it's gonna do this okay don't get worried about this alright this works you could write this all in one line so you could write you could write dot error and continue on from there but it allows you to put it to the next line now let's say let's just change the name of com comment underscore insert to comment underscore inf cert dot php now to try and get an error okay now we're going to get a big red thing down here saying not found but as you can see here we get error that's what we want so we want to know if there's a, any form of error whatsoever and if we look at data to see I don't know whether it actually put some data in there let's see what the data says if there's actually anything inside of it okay there's there's an object inside of it so but we don't need to worry about that all right the most that we need to worry about hey there was an error happened the most that we care about is that that we got a successful response from the server so this is where we're actually going to then um, initiate doing the data or potentially let's just say success and task equals um, insert HTML into the ul stroke li all right so the, the 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 comment which we have the name which we have and so on and um, will then be populated into the comment box all right because we know it's been saved the next time that the page reloads a comment's going to go inside of there because we're going to extract it from the the let me just show you okay all right so now that we've done this before it gets totally confusing let's just refresh this make sure everything's still working seems fine okay we didn't change the um, the name back let's take the F outside of it okay let's refresh it put some data inside of it it's sent back okay let's leave it here for now and we'll do it in the next tutorial okay so we're actually um, gonna send back um, then a successful response and say hey yes this comment has been inserted we're not actually going to do the PHP as of yet we're just going to insert um, the comment into the um, comment list so we know that part has been done okay right I'll see you in the next tutorial